Okay, balik ta sa Welcome to Ask Mami Lou, Episode 6, Answering the 6 Common Questions about PCUP or the Presidential Commission for the Urban Poor. So before I will do that, I would like to share to you that my background at PCUP is that I am one of the pioneering employees of the Presidential Commission for the Urban Poor Field Operations Division for Mindanao that has been established last July 17 in 1987 here in Davao City. So as of now, I am the last standing pioneering employee of PCUP and I have already completed 36 years of service. So I started as an admin assistant. Later, I was assigned in the technical and operation support group and then assigned as the area coordinator in Davao City, District 2, then in Davao del Norte, covering all the cities and municipalities and in Davao Oriental. And now, my cluster is I am assigned in Davao del Norte, Davao Oriental, covering the component cities of Island Garden City of Samal, Tagum City, and also the component city of the city of Mati, Davao Oriental. So that is how far that I have gone through, and I have also been given the chance to head the different committees at the national level no, under the steering committee. So now, I will ask those who are applying for PCUP accreditation, define PCUP. And then you will submit your answer to me, huh? because I will be processing your application, especially for Camencita de Lima of the Tagum City, San Antonio Homeowners Association, Bigasan. And also for Paraiso Village, you are in pending now with your applications. And then also we have several organizations that are applying for PCP accreditation. So... For those who would like to see more, is that I would like to show to you. We have a coffee table, no? PCUP coffee table. Can you see that? Oh, uh, 2018 to 2021 report. So everything is there stated about PCUP. But as a background, I just want to draw you, though, the mandate and functions of PCUP. Supports you one to Executive Order 82, dated December 8, 1986. PCUP serves as a direct link of urban poor to government in policy formulation and program implementation that address their needs. So that is the core of the function of PCUP. And under that, that function and mandate, we are mandated to coordinate the speedy implementation of government policies and programs for the poor. Is speedy. So that's a great challenge, no? To serve as a no. To set up consultative mechanisms which shall provide a forum for continuing dialogue between government and the urban poor on the proper planning, evaluation, programs, and projects affecting them. Because we know sometimes programs and projects are designed and the poor are not consulted. So this is also one of the mandate and functions of PCUP. The third is, which is very important, is to accredit legitimate urban poor organizations for purposes of representation in the formulation recommendations to the office of the president. If you can say that even in our church teachings, it says that the voice of the people is the voice of God. So if the government has to listen, so we have to accredit because in the past there were certain organizations, even leaders, who assume that they are representing the sector, but they are not in not so good undertakings. So that our office can give an intelligent information, intelligent uh, report to the president for how how are we going to improve because every administration needs guidance and that is the part of PCUP. So for me, I was able to survive 8th President of the Republic of the Philippines before I will retire next year. So that's it. Accreditation. Then to review existing legislation and policies and programs of the government related to the poor. So there is always a constant reflection, action, reflection, action, because it has been an evolving process you know, to address poverty and to ensure that the poor has also graduated from poverty and there is 
another batch of those who are going through you no know, the exodus of the journey of poverty so policies laws and legislation has to be reviewed responsive to the needs of the poor then also to evaluate post and ongoing shelter related projects you know shelter projects are really a big attraction in any administration because it has a multiplier effect you no know, 10 times when you have shelter related projects implemented 10 times it will contribute to the economy but pcup is mandated to evaluate the shelter related projects just like what if a national agency implement the project what is the difference if it is implemented by administration by the local government so there was already a research study that the value of money is much higher if the lg implements it than the national government agency implement it so that covers everything but on the ground it's still evolving so we continue to have that advocacy and to plan and monitor to coordinate various activities because sometimes uh, developing a team working together as a team is an effort in order to maximize resources also to overcome monopoly and also abuse of discretion and also to remind each and every one that we are all channels of this work you no know, for the poor then also request assistance you no know? so we are also a convener the pcup is a convener to request assistance from others because alone we cannot do it but together we can achieve more so that's the word for the team together everyone achieve more and also to facilitate funding of urban poor programs so that's also one of the mandate functions of PCUP funding if you can remember after the passage of RA 7279 or urban development and housing act the community mortgage program is a program law and that was the product of a journey from 1986 to 1992 there was that significant contribution of PCUP and also to perform other functions as may be authorized by the president of the philippines then on march 29 2012 his excellency president benigno aquino the third issued executive order number 69 strengthening the presidential commission for the urban poor and the executive order pcup was again transferred to the office of the president to effectively coordinate formulate and evaluate policies and programs concerning the poor and it provides for the following strength and functions of the pcup one is to undertake social preparation activities related to asset reform human development basic social services employment and livelihood and other programs of the government for the urban poor number two is to participate in policy discussion relating to urban poor in board meetings of the national agencies before it was had seen now it is with the department of human settlement housing and urban development they should key shelter agencies local housing boards and other similar bodies and third is to submit quarterly reports to the office of the president relative to the status of the compliance of the provisions of executive order 69 and the pertinent provisions of the law governing eviction and demolition activities so that is the mandate of pcup and we are here uh working out everything is evolving as the new administration comes with its different programs no priority programs so thank you very much for listening it's a review for me it's also a review for us especially for the leaders that is around us no especially our urban poor federation president greetings also to mario rapas of tagum city urban poor federation padayon din ha mario thank you